Hello and welcome everybody. Welcome to the 36th official Toastmasters meeting of auditors in the cloud. And if I'm not mistaken, now is that this is the meeting when we have reached the halfway mark where we have half or half of our meetings have happened online and half of our meetings have happened offline. And it's so weird. It still seems like, okay, we were only meeting some time back offline seeing each other's faces in, in reality. And we could give our expressions without switching cameras off. That was also a possibility. <laughs> but now we have reached here and it looks like the new normal there, there seems to be no end to it, at least not this year. Adapting to it as we, as we move forth. Welcome everybody, welcome to another online meeting of ours. Today's theme is something which when, you even hear the mere mention of it takes you back to the childhood. Cartoon. Everybody, and my guess is everybody has some association in one or the other form with it. If I were to be just given the word cartoon, my mind goes to Scooby-Doo, DuckTales, Tom and Jerry, and the, my favorite, and let me know if people know about it, Johnny Bravo. Do you know you nobody knows here about Johnny Bravo? Damn. Okay, you guys are millennials. I'm a 90s kid. There, there are differences. What can we do? To take us through this amazing journey of childhood through the eyes of cartoons and caricatures, we have our TMOD with us today. Before I call upon the TMOD, in the absence of essay, I am going to uh, put down some basic rules of the meeting, which are keep yourself on mute whenever it is not your turn to speak. Prefer to keep the camera on. It, uh, we would be glad to see you. And in any case, try to not go out of the meeting uninformed. If you have to, it would be, it would be great if you can inform us. That will be just best. And finally, let's try to avoid talking about the taboo topics, which are sex, politics, and religion. With that, I am done with the directives, and I'm going to hand it over to the man, to the Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Bhargav. The theme for today's session is cartoons and caricatures. I'm sure each one of us have really fond memories related to cartoons. And we would have a lot of content. Believe me, tons of content, right? Coming to me, the first cartoon I've ever watched was Tom and Jerry. I was so fascinated by that cartoon. I used to love the action between Tom the cat and Jerry the mouse. I used to watch, watch that cartoon for hours and hours of on television. In fact, reliable sources say that that is the reason why I got my spectacles at a very young age. In fact, my mom bought a human angle to that cartoon by equating the fight between me and my sister to the fight between Tom and Jerry. Just like how Jerry always incites the fight and Tom used to, Tom used to end up getting hurt at the end. Similarly, it was always that my sister used to incite the fight and at the end, I used to get ended up scolding scolded by my parents. Cartoons are a reality in real life as well in some aspects, I feel. I'm sure all of you have similar childhood memories to talk about cartoons. With this, I'd like to call upon to the screen Toastmaster Shreya to share her memories and introduce the tag team. Thank you, Toastmaster Bhargav. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I thought since Toastmaster Bhargav started with the first cartoon that he watched, let me start with the last cartoon that I watched, which was Pokemon. How many of you guys are Pokemon fans here or have watched Pokemon? No, seriously, no takers. Oh, I can see so many. Thank you, Ruth. So I was so obsessed with that show that I would sit and watch it on TV whenever, whenever it came. 
I would buy all all those junk packets of Cheetos, Lay's, Kurkure, whatever you can think of, so that I could get those Pokemon cards and also get those Pokemon toys, which you could dismantle and connect into actual Pokemon toys. And I and then I would also play that Pokemon game. So I think for a brief period in my childhood, half my day would just be Pokemon, and it was those were some good days, I must say. Coming back to today, which is also another good day, hopefully, I'm taking the GE role, that the general evaluator. Uh, we, I'll be evaluating the whole meeting from the beginning till the end. And Aristotle once said that there is only one way to avoid criticism, that is to say nothing, to do nothing, and to be nothing. But we are here to say and be a lot of things, so criticism is bound to come our way. I hope, or at least we all in the, in the team today hope that we can be that constructive criticism that you need to grow. Today, I might be heading the panel, but as always, most of the heavy lifting is done by the team members. So let me call, call them one by one. First, calling the timer of the day, Toastmaster Ram, to come and explain about his role today. Over to you, Ram. Thank you, Toastmaster Shreya. As the timer of the day, I want to first start with saying how important time is. We were just talking about cartoons and caricatures. If you think these are lighthearted and don't worry, we don't need to really pay attention to time, we'll have to think again. Think of the Tom and Jerry. Tom is starting to run. Jerry is ahead of Tom. Tom wants to capture Jerry, but right at that moment, Tom decides to relax and not bother. That little bit of time lag makes the joke fall flat on its face. From there, if you switch gears and think about what Einstein said, he said, sit on a hot stop, and even if you're sitting there for a minute, your minute will seem like two hours. Talk with your favorite pal. If you're talking for two hours, that will seem like a minute. Now, with that as a background, we like to make sure that all of our speeches, all of our comments are time appropriate. With that said, I'm going to talk about how I'm going to indicate if you're on time, beyond time, or we'd like to hear you speak some more. Whenever you are within the time range, I will use the yellow background like that. Whenever I mean, you're good and you've just reached your allotted time, I will show you the green. And if you're exceeding time, then I will show you the red screen. And it means that it's time to stop talking or wrap up as quickly as possible. And towards the end of the meeting, I'm going to come back and say how each person did. As a reminder, the main speaker of the day has five, six, and seven minutes for her timings. Six is optimum, five is too less, and seven is too much. And I'm going to use the cards, as I said, to show you where you are at. With that said, I'm going to hand it back to the general evaluator to take this forward. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Ram, for introducing yourself. Without any delay, let me call the second, the second member of the tag team, that is the accountant. Sumit, please take over. Thank you, Toastmaster Shreya. Before I describe what my role is today, I would like to talk about my favorite cartoon. How many of you here have heard about Oswald the Octopus? Oh. Nice. So, something about Oswald was was something which hooked me on to that show. The kindness of the guy. He was a fat octopus, but he was never body shamed, and he used to take it in his stride. He was so friendly, amiable, sociable. So. I just realized when Bhargav told me that uh, the meeting today was cartoons and caricature, it just hit me that the whole thing was a caricature of what real life is supposed to be. 
wherein a guy who is fat does not have a job wears a hat and roams around the colony is the guy who is the protagonist of a tv show and is the hero in most days so i think oswald is something which i want to be but i can't in real life but that is i thought was something which was pretty much uh, in keeping with what the topic was today now with respect to my job as a accountant i would count the number of unnecessary sounds and repetitive words which people use while speaking on stage er am a uh, you know i mean will all be counted these are filler words that would affect your effectiveness in delivering your speech at the end of the meeting i'll be back on the stage to present my report to you people thanks uh, back to the g thank you toastmaster sumit for forever altering the meaning of one of my favorite shows oswald to me and now coming on to actually the third role which is missing today the grimagian this role seems to be a difficult one to fill in general but i have a proposal for you guys all of you here know that grammar is very important when you're speaking i don't have to sell that to you guys so how about today we have an informal grammarian of some sorts any of you who who is listening try try to listen to the things that are said wrong in the speech the grammatical mistakes that are made when you when you find such please note it down let see if we can at the end of the evaluation panel today if we can dedicate a minute or two if we have time that is and we can dedicate a minute or two for people to come up with how they evaluated the grammarian role or rather how they would be if they were the grammarian if you guys want to do this please go ahead and start making rigorous notes on things that people have said wrong that's all we have from the tag team today back to you temuri bhagav thank you thank you toastmaster shreya well as i mentioned earlier my parents always thought that my spectacles were a reason uh, because my my spectacle i got my spectacles at an early age because i watched too much of cartoons so i no longer had leverage of watching cartoons while my parents were around at home i used to wait for my parents to leave for work and i had to negotiate with my grandmother to eat some of her daily soap or cereal time to watch my cartoons even i loved oswald in fact there was the series of cartoons which used to come in uh, in a sequence in the channel called pogo if i am not wrong the first was thomas and friends and then it was naughty and then it was oswald yeah i i see uh, shake uh, head shaking so i was correct and then as i grew older i started taking interest in japanese cartoons there were a lot of these japanese cartoons which used to get dubbed into indian languages the most famous one was shinshan shinshan was my favorite cartoon there was this there was this four year old kid who was the part, uh, prota- protagonist in this show and i used to like like all his actions and how his parents used to respond to his actions i used to love that show and then and then there was the show called doremon in which there was this cat who used to invent all these science fiction stuff i used to take a lot of interest in that as well in fact i watch shinshan and doremon even now some once in a while i think there is no age as too old for watching cartoons with this i'd like to invite onto the screen toastmaster madhuri who's going to be the evaluator for toastmaster fatima's yeah. l1 speech welcome onto the screen toastmaster madhuri thank you toastmaster bargo uh, good evening fellow toastmaster i am madhuri from ans toastmasters club uh, today the speaker toastmaster oh. fatima oh, is attempting yeah. her second speech in level 1 from the oh. past presentation mastery the objective of this project oh. is for the member to present a speech on any topic receive feedback and apply the feedback to the second speech the purpose of this speech is for the member to demonstrate that she has applied the feedback received no, from his or her first speech timer please note the timing is 5 to 7 minutes uh, all the very best toastmaster fatima thank you and over to you toastmaster bato 
the next one is uh, how how is it going? you're speaking on mute term at the uh yeah so let's welcome on to the speech toastmaster fatima for her level 1 speech toastmaster fatima future just like the past future just like the past toastmaster fatima so the eagle eyed people in the room would have noticed that fatima got disconnected i just pinged her she'll join in a couple of minutes till then why don't we go ahead and uh mimic our favorite cartoons since bhargav talked about sinchan bhargav why don't you why don't you talk to us in sinchan's voice <laughs> i used to re i remember the title song right sinchan sinchan pyara pyara sinchan sinchan yaar ani and you see dubbed into this uh, hindi as well i don't remember the telugu title song but hindi one i used to remember i i still remember एंड देन मेरा नाम सिंचान है मैं बस चार साल का हूँ मैं अभी भी चार साल का हुआ हूँ लेट मी नो इफ समबडी रिमेम्बर दिस बॉब द बिल्डर बॉब द बिल्डर हाँ भाई हाँ Because Why is everything in Hindi? We had all English ones. Yeah, because we are North Indians. No, no in Hyderabad it was uh, translated to Hindi. And, uh, and if you were lucky and Sun TV viewers, then it was in Telugu as well. Huh? Yes, correct. <laughs> <laughs> if you want comedy, just watch any of those Chota Bhim episodes in Telugu. <laughs> Continuous, non-stop comedy. Hey, so can can anybody tell me when was this period of Bob the Builder and Naughty? because i remember that there was a small period of time in my life when i used to watch bob the builder and naughty naughty was the plain guy this was in 2003 2000 for my sister was born then i was in delhi yes that, that was the time hmm. so i remember all naughty. these things on the basis of where i lived <laughs> i was in delhi during that phase so i remember after coming from my school i would sit in front of the tv and spend till beyblade because i was not supposed to watch beyblade Once yeah. Beyblade is uh, there, you just move on to doing your homework. Why? What was wrong with Beyblade? A uh, too much of TV time. That was <laughs> the thing. So the negotiation was that I watch Naughty, Bob the Builder, and Oswald, and then uh, move on once Beyblade is back. <laughs> so you traded Naughty and Bob the Builder for? I was a fool. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Who who will do an impression now? Come on, Sumit. Give us give us your favorite. a uh, cartoon impression i'm not good with impressions but it's okay i did a very bad sinchan impression no at least you were relatable <laughs> but uh, i i do remember watching doremon for hours and hours there were only two things at that point of time this is about 10 years back right uh, doremon for children and cid for those people who are not interested in doremon i think that was the phase i lived through and it would be on sony the whole day it would be cid until something original showed up uh, that would be after 9 o'clock so yeah, yeah i by I, the way an idea uh, now that our speaker is taking time why don't we go ahead with the table topic session Aksha? Yeah, and I'm about to say that I think she's taking time, right? So can we go ahead with table topics? Thank you, thank you. Like people could have cut me and suggested me it way back when. How? Yeah, I, I just unmuted and you post that. <laughs> but uh, is she joining in couple of minutes or is she going to take more time? Uh, she said couple of minutes, but well, uh, we improvise as we move on. Life is improvisation. Aksha, how are you? Thank you, Toastmaster Hind. Uh, so. as they said like bagav told me that i should speak about my my favorite cartoon so i think for any girl the default favorite was dora the explorer so when i was very young i think dora the explorer was one of my favorite cartoons and i'm not sure if it was for others and i got and i had dora bag dora dora water bottle dora lunch bag and dora pencil box i used to go to school with 
like jam packed with dora so even i whenever i get time i also sing this song i saw this cartoon for the first time in tamil so enga namu poru oru manu maliki so then that's how i keep singing this song but somehow for reasons unknown it is always been my most favorite cartoon for whatever reasons because i wanted to have that bob hair like dora sometime and i remember getting a dora hair cut as well so moving on today's table topic session is going to be called akshya's awards so i have some awards which are on my which are uh, on my bucket and anyone who decides to volunteer will get an award or will pick an award for themselves and they have to give an acceptance speech and they have to and they have to kind of elaborate as they are so grateful to get this award so that is what is uh, hello am i audible hello okay great uh, so a good example i'll just give one example let's say if the award is busy b so let's say if i'm going to give the award actually this kind of uh, okay i'll 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 pick one which suits me legendary late come so so if if i tell you that you are going to be awarded the uh, legendary late comer award so this award i feel i am uh, so i need to thank my sister because she always comes late and i learned it from her and then so this one to two minutes is going to be a demonstration as to why you feel so happy to uh, to have to get this award and why you are grateful for this so this is going to be like a grateful speech as well uh, so so i have a few things on my bucket so if you have any volunteers we can get started oh uh, in case is our people clear as to what is the expectation from today thank you uh, any volunteers oh i think fatima has joined so are we going to continue with the table topic session or we're going to continue okay uh, then then we'll have a speech okay. any volunteers uh okay so i'll pick so i'll i'm going to start picking people uh i'll pick navjot because i see navjot like that's a, the first face that i see on the screen it's right in front of me so i'm going to pick navjot oh uh, um navjot oh your voice was not clear when you were explaining can you please repeat the rules so i'm going to so i'll give you number from 1 to 15 so these are all like uh like kind of funny ways that i will give you a title so i will call you let's say the favorite pen stealer of the year so if i give you that title so this is going to be like i'm giving you this uh this uh title and you have to give a speech for it like a thank you speech for it is that it's going to be like the best actor of the year goes to and then how you feel that moment right so something like that it's just, it's just clear now and you can thank people and you can feel as to you can go on to talk about what you feel as to why you got that award and so on yeah clear okay so do you want to pick a number from 1 to 1 to 10 i um, i all, yeah yeah i picked the first one so from 2 to 9 uh, yeah 4 uh, 4 okay this is interesting you are going to be getting the title for mr never opens his wallet so basically people are calling you the kanjus in that in the indirectly so you're going to be given the title for mr never opens the wallet of the year so ladies and gentlemen i feel honored to present the award for mr never opens the wallet of the year to toastmaster navjot please accept it and give your thank you speech um thank you aksha for awarding me awarding me with this uh, honorable uh, honorable position honorable award so first of all i would like to thank my inspiration uh, aksha who we asked during her internship for party but she uh, delayed it and uh, instead asked us for a party for joining uh, as an intern so uh, first uh, so first and only inspiration was aksha only and after that uh, during uh, for gaining this uh, title i was really uh, enjoying uh, while 
um, getting this reputation, uh, reputation for not opening a wallet at all because I got to uh, have a lot of uh, uh, delicious meals without even spending a uh, penny from my wallet. And uh, I would look forward to uh, winning this title again next year. Um, and thank you, Akshay, again for inspiring me. Thank you. Tables turned on me. Okay. <laughs> sure. Uh, any other volunteers in the house for this thing? Okay. We have him. Uh, so we have uh, 2 to 10. 4 is taken. So any other number that you want to try? Six. Two. Hey, Aksha, it, it would be better if you just type it on chat. Okay, you want to try six. Oh. Oh, this is also interesting. Okay. So, I'm going to give you the title for Mr. One T-Shirt Wonder. So, basically, you are always seen in one T-Shirt everywhere. Uh, can, you, can you hear me? Maybe you can start. As long as you got what you were saying. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. It is such an honor to receive this award. I cannot even begin to convey my gratitude here. It was a long road. It was a tough road. It took a lot of efforts, mental and physical, all kinds of effort, to wear the same t-shirt daily. Not even a shirt, just a t-shirt. Every day, everywhere, every place. All the time but I did it for a reason I did it to save mother earth it's it's very clear to everybody that so much of resources are consumed in producing fabrics the textile industry might look very pristine on the surface but it's not just the cotton that goes into clothes a lot of things does. Plastic does. Do you know that your clothes have microplastics and then they eventually go into water and then they go into your belly and make you sick? I am saving on those plastics. I am the reason that humanity is going to live one year more. And I think I deserve this award eventually. I am so humbled. Uh, don't get me wrong. I'm not, being, I'm not trying to be arrogant here <laughs> with this award. I am humbled, deeply humbled to get this award. Thank you very much the jury. I would like to thank my parents, my friends and family. I'd like to thank everybody who, who opened my mind to the environment, to the environment, to, to saving Mother Earth, which eventually prompted me to use this one t-shirt every day. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. One T-Shirt Wonder. So we have two we have two interesting table topics uh, is session. Any other volunteers? Oh, Toastmaster Bargo. Uh, so four and six are taken, and one is taken. So from one to ten, if you have any any number, uh, one, four, and six are taken. Nine. Nine. Yeah. Okay, so this is also interesting. So you are going to be getting the title of Mr. Leaky Bucket, which means you cannot hold secrets in your in your in your tummy, or you cannot keep up a secrets. So the world is willing to call you the Leaky Bucket of the Year. So that is what it means. So somebody who cannot resist secrets, or somebody who is like, uh, like spills it out and who has no filter basically so that is what is this uh, title so ladies and gentlemen i feel extremely extremely privileged to give away the title of mr leaky bucket to toastmaster bargo i'm really honored to get this award of mr leaky bucket i'm thankful to my 
parents, teachers, and especially Akshaya, who has inspired me a lot, lot and lot. People used to call her BBC for, you know, all reasons. She never keeps secrets. And looking at the attention she grabbed because of the because of that characteristic of hers, even I started acting as one, the leaky bucket. I'm sure each one of you sitting over here have secrets. And you know secrets of others as well. And you have leaked some subtle secrets, easier ones, which are easy to you know grasp and all. But the secrets I leaked, they are out of the box. They are way out of the box. I leaked the secret that Sumed was chased by a chicken while he was young. Well, it was way out of the box. I leaked the secret that Shreya, who was my primary primary school classmate, used to eat pencil while she was young. I leaked the secret that Hind, who used to be my college mate, used to look into others' plates every time. And after that, it has created so much impact that no one was ready to eat lunch with him. I mean, my leaked secrets created so much impact in the office as well, right? And so I say, I'm really humbled and honored to receive this award. And I think I am the most deserving person to receive this award and expect a very leaky year next year as well. And hope that I would get this award again next year. Thank you. All the tables are turning on me, I must say. Anyway, uh, so let us get started. So do we have time for one more, uh, Ram? I think you also have to. Okay. So we have time for one more. Any other volunteers? Uh, I think Sumer, you should give it a shot. I feel. Uh, what do you think? <laughs> you will count the hours. Um, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure. I can do it if you want. Actually, share, raise your hand if okay, you want oh, to go with oh, her. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, sure. Okay. Sure. Uh, Shreya, uh, so we have. Okay, oh, wait. This is Toastmaster Shreya, right? I raised my hand. Yeah, I raised my hand so that so that I'm the GE and I will evaluate Sumay when he's doing. But it's up to you, whoever. All right. Okay. Then I'll I'll take it. Take what? Take table topics or? Yeah, I'll take okay. the table topics. Okay, sure. Thanks. A uh, lot of confusion for this one. Okay, sure. So uh, we have uh, uh, so from one to nine. One is taken. Four is taken, six is taken, and nine is taken. Five. Five. Uh, oh. Mm. Okay. This is called. Okay. So you are going to be given the title called Expression Explorer. So basically, you are famous for not reacting to anyone at any point of time. You are known for your lifeless expressions. So you are going to be given the title of Expression Explorer of the year. So ladies and gentlemen, I feel honored to be bestowing the title of Expression Explorer to Toastmaster Sumit. Thank you, Toastmaster Akshaya. I feel honored receiving this award because I feel expressions are superfluous to human life and therefore exhibiting them is something that humans should not strive at. And in achieving this, I have won this award today. As you can infer from my face, I'm really thankful to the jury who has put me in the position, in this position today. And I'm really honored. I would like to state for, for record that it was my mother's love 
that got me here and my manager's kindness that fueled the passion inside me here i if given a chance i would change nothing in the next one year as i have said before keeping an open mind and emotions out of your thought process is a really important thing all humans should strive for and i hope that i win this award next year as well i am sure the hope can be seen on my face thank you toastmaster aksha for bestowing the award and letting me know what the jury felt thank you all of you have a nice day thank you to us master sumit so uh, with that can we call it a day for the table topic sessions and uh, sure so we had some interesting table topics today thank you everyone for participating and with that i hand this hand the screen back to toast master bhargav thank you thank you toast master akshya for that uh, really awesome fun filled toast master uh, sorry table topic session uh, uh, fatima i called upon fatima like a few minutes ago but she had to she had some network issues so fatima is back so i would like to call upon to the stage toastmaster fatima future just like past future just like past toastmaster fatima hi all very good evening let's get started with the question of which phase of life do most of the people like to cherish anyone past past okay yes when i asked this question to many of my friends they told childhood for me also it's childhood yes it's childhood everyone has nostalgic memories for their own child about their own childhood and would like to return if given a chance but why is childhood so special and magical i question myself and my fellow friends few expressed life is stressful we have to take a lot of pressure now life was stressless by then quietly contemplating over that statement i realized day to day life routine is almost same for a kid as well as an adult as an adult we get ready go to office work get back home have a relaxed evening scope out it guys and go to bed the system is almost same for a kid too as a kid they get ready go to school spend some solid 5 6 hours over there come back home with lots of homework to be done in the evening and then go to bed the pressure taken in day to day life by an adult and a kid looks same to me so i feel that's not the reason to make the childhood special what else few of my friends told there was a sense of freedom in my childhood now my life looks extremely programmed and signaled i immediately objected to it today we have the liberty in making decisions in making choices a very simple example in the middle of work if i feel stressed if i feel like taking a break i just step up go for a coffee break it's not the case with kids though your schedule is pre-written by someone you are forced to fit into a time table you have to seek permission from your class teacher even to have a sip of water or to go to washroom so i feel there is a lot of liberty now so that's neither the reason that makes a childhood special then what else few told life was extremely happy by then sorrow was never at my doorstep i disagree to her because today we are so matured we know for what to feel sad and for what not to feel i would like to quote or i would like to tell a small incident in my life lost in the chit chat chit chat talk with my friends i unknowingly placed my scale inside my socks later i was trying to find my scale and when i did not find i cried the whole day not because i lost my scale but because i'm going to be slapped by my mom left and right for the reason i lost the scale i was mentally preparing myself to face the situation that evening surprisingly 
I found my scale when I removed my socks. It was so immature of me to feel sad and bad the whole day for a silly simple thing. So that's neither the reason to in my opinion. Then you might all question me, what makes a childhood so special for you? The best part of childhood is being yourself. As you grew up, you are never your true self. You always play dual role within you. The real you inside always stays silent, but active all the time. The outside you is just a contradicting version or a superported version of the real you inside. A kid never thinks of what to speak, how to speak and what not to speak. It's just the thought put into words, a flow of thought put into words in a very raw format. Secondly, the child above anything is a genuine innocence. I would like to go back to my memories where I felt I was so innocent to think like that. I remember me and my brother, we were reading through a newspaper. We were actually seeing pictures in the newspaper. I saw my favorite movie clip, which was tagged 100 days. My brother told me, do you know Fatima? People sit and watch shows back to back in theaters continuously for 100 days without taking bath, without brushing their teeth, without eating food. I was ignorant. I blindly believed him for some years until I knew that I was wrong. The other incident, whenever my mom slaps me for being mischievous, I always thought when I grew up, you would turn out to be a kid. And that's the time I'm going to take revenge on you for what you're, do for what you're doing to me right now. So I feel it's innocence, it's a childhood innocence. An action which is an outcome of innocence thought is making my childhood special, memorable, joyful. And most importantly, a child knows to forgive. They don't even know what it means to forgive. They just easily forget things where eventually they tend to forgive all. As we grew up, our memory grew. And it's a human psychology to remember bad deeds more than the good deeds done to you. The more you remember, the less you forgive. The less you f remember, the more you forgive. Right. So being kid at heart is not a question of age. It's a question of spirit. You can be a child by being, by enjoying very small things and being happy with almost everything. Being kid at heart is not a sign of immaturity. I feel it's the sign of maturity. The biggest sign of maturity is to choose being a kid, even amidst your responsibilities now. Go back to your past. Bring the past in your present and create a future as your past. Bring back the childhood to your present and create a future of adulthood as much you loved your childhood. Bring back the child in you. Always smile. Forget and forgive. Let's take pleasure in the very small things in our life. Love unconditionally. And most importantly, if you fall down, get back up and run. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Toastmaster Fatima. That was a really awesome speech. I liked it a lot. I personally connected to it a lot. I like the uh, aspect in your speech, which highlighted that uh, children uh, don't keep anything within themselves. They don't fear the society. They won't fear anything. Whatever they are inside, they would let it out. And, uh, and I would say if an adult could live like that, I think we could actually minimize all sorts of miseries and I think so many wars could have been avoided in this world. With this, I'd like to call upon, sorry, I missed the sequence. I would like to call upon uh, 
Toastmaster, uh, sorry, Toastmaster Shreya, who's going to be the general, who's the general evaluator, to call the evaluation team. Thank you, Toastmaster Bhagav. I think without any delay, we can get started with the evaluation. I would uh, like to call the the first, two, I mean, the only speech evaluator today, Toastmaster Madhuri, to come ahead and present her evaluation. Uh, Shreya, may I request you to go ahead with the GE report. I will present my evaluation after a couple of minutes. Speech is just completed. Sure, it makes sense. Uh, how about we start with the tag evaluation? Ram, are you ready? I didn't want to give my evaluation in the beginning because I might step on other people's points. But if uh, nobody is ready, then I will go ahead with it. Ram, you're muted. Ram, I didn't get what you said. Thank you. So and I lost my mic symbol. Sorry. Uh, I'll go ahead with the time report. From the speaker's points of view, pretty much everybody was on time today. Navjot, a minute and 30 seconds. Hin, one minute and 45 seconds. Bhargav, two minutes. Sumit, one minute and 40. And Fatima, seven minutes. All of them finishing on the dot or a little ahead. We lost time, mainly because of the interruptions in between. But otherwise, every speaker was on the dot or ahead of it. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Ram, for that evaluation. Uh, then can we have the Toastmaster Sumit with his R counter evaluation? Sure. So I thought the first half of this meet went pretty well with respect to CRPFs. The presiding officer had two CRPFs. So uh, in my report, what I would want to do is give out the total number of CRPFs used for detailed uh, I can always come back to you on a personal note or you can come to me whichever way you choose it to be anyway the TMOD had nine CRPFs the GE had two the timer was flawless I think the timer is getting used to making flawless speeches in this forum so a small hand there I only had the opening statement from the first evaluator, so I'll still count her. She did not make any mistakes that I noticed. The first speaker, the only speaker, well, the, again, the first half of her speech went really well. In the later half, I think she jumbled up one line. Apart from that, she used a catch word once. So it was a really good speech and the CRPF usage uh, was limited to two, so that shows. The table topics master had 14 CRPS, a lot of us, and this happened when she was calling out people. For example, this happened when she said, uh, Navjot, uh, maybe, uh, so there a lot of us came across. I, otherwise, when she usually speaks, there weren't many of those us, and because of the interruptions today, Maybe she would want to take a relook at what happened and learn from this experience. The table topic speakers, Navjot were, had 13 hours and that is the highest. Uh, the other people had two or three. Navjot, whenever you finish a sentence or you want to take a pause, you say uh, automatically, which is not a problem in itself because the way you say uh does not actually deviate from the point it's something what president obama also does he also uses us not in a way which deviates from his point right so but you would still want to reduce this okay it will be a little tough so one thing which uh, you can focus on is to complete your sentence and once you are done finishing the sentence just keep your mouth closed all right, don't let any sound escape. I think that is something which everyone else can also do, but it was a chronic thing with Navjot, so I'm just pointing that out there. All right, coming back to, I think that's all we had, right? Yeah, Bhargav and Hind, one repetition. Bhargav had three, 
uh, so apart from that there wasn't uh, anything noteworthy from my report so thank you back to shia first master shia thank you sumit for that insightful evaluation now it comes to the grammarian report we don't have an official grammarian so does anybody want to take up the role and do you do you guys have something that you noticed that went wrong yes him at one point the speaker of the day said immature and used it in pa past tense when the when the statement was going in the present tense i noticed just that and one more thing was she used the term grew when she had she wanted to say grow i think there were those small small tweaks which are ne which are needed but otherwise there wasn't big issue on the on the positive side i whenever uh, when you said that people should notice grammar mistakes i started looking out for grammar mistakes by uh, from then and could not find any maybe i missed some but i could not find many all right does anyone have any single swear if not then i will get started with my report and then maybe hand it over to toastmaster madhuri for her evaluation of the speech does that sound okay all right so let me get started first of all the meeting as usual started late we were five minutes late this time we have been coming closer and closer to the 4 pm 4 pm mark but we are just not getting there i would request everybody who is a role taker to please make sure that they join at least 2 minutes in advance and today one thing that played a spoil sport was the technical glitches usually we do have some here and there but it seemed like today it was there were a lot of glitches this cannot obviously this is part and parcel of our format here and we just carry on with it like it's normal life the other point that i had was it was a great table topics initiative it was hilarious people were constantly listening and totally involved it was really fun one thing that could have been better was the explanation i feel that this was an intuitive explanation that could have been done better and it took at least maybe a minute or two more than it should have taken for it for it to be understood by the audience apart from that i thought when maybe we could evaluate the ttm session also not a lot of mistakes this time i would say overall we had a successful session today very few errors or mistakes from people and everybody had great exceptional content somehow they found great meaningless reasons to be very thankful for it was really fun and i i i cannot point anyone out here because all four of you did that navjot again as i said the same thing content was really great but you you could definitely work on your ahs and ums like sumit said that was the only wrong thing that i could find I, and i really tried everything else was good hence what could you what you could work on was is sentence run ons so your sentence just keep adding up and that was happening a lot and basically grammatical mistakes you said a lot of things does at some point it's a lot of things do maybe that is something you could work on bargu also same thing i found run ons in your speech apart from that again great content great finish begin everything so made i try to find your crpf because i had volunteered to do that but sadly i could not i think you have not used any of them i hope you have not because i have not been able to record any here so that's a great thing congratulations and i must say it takes some talent to say what you said with a straight face i don't know how you did it and that is just it, it's a talent man because so congrats there uh, that's all i have about the table topics and yeah in general the session today i think uh, i can we can hand it over to toastmaster madhuri for her evaluation over to you toastmaster madhuri thank you toastmaster shreya sorry for telling that i will present my report at the end Uh, thank you uh, good evening fellow toastmasters and specially to toastmaster fatima uh, fatima what a great speech and what a great content that you picked it up you know uh, this really made us go through our go to our childhood memories and especially the way when you asked the question 
which phase of life we would like to cherish and no doubt everyone will like to cherish our childhood memories and in your speech that is evident that uh, we all enjoyed and we all were glued to your speech when you were telling the stories of how it happened uh, the content is really good whatever the speech that you have delivered the content wise it is really good and few highlights of your speech were you were cool and composed you didn't feel nervous anywhere you were smiling throughout your speech which is really good and the smile which made us glued to your speech entirely that is really good and keep it up with that uh, fatima that is your asset i would say uh, one other highlight is the comparison of child and adult and the points you picked it up which are really good where most of us would don't even think about it but the points that you picked it up especially saying uh, always adults play dual role in itself in yourself and uh, whereas kids they don't even think what is there in their mind is what they are going to speak about so that is really true but we don't agree to what it is uh, so these are the few points that you have told which made us realize where we are and what we should go back and rework on that is really good and also you have humor in your speech especially when you shared your personal experience about how you lost your uh, scale and put it in your uh, socks that is really good which we all uh, you know you made us reminisce our memories by going to our childhood uh, really good thank you for bringing it up and whatever the title that you have the opening that you have and also the conclusion everything was synced uh, that there also you did a great job keep it up uh, coming to the areas of improvement though it is your second speech it's my duty to give areas of improvement as well but uh, it is your second speech nevertheless there are not many comments i would say uh, so one thing is about the eye contact so sometimes you are looking up maybe you are trying to recollect so no one knows what is there in your speech okay so even if you forget try to you know write your tell your own story or whatever comes to your mind but don't uh, be uh, don't show that on your face that you are trying to recollect by looking up or somewhere that is the thing that everyone does it but don't do it Uh, the other thing what i would suggest is the vocal variety when you're talking about your mom or your brother you uh, know you can try and enact with their voice so that we would connect more to your speech uh, that is one other uh, point i would like to highlight uh, the other one is the conclusion it is really good you have lot of points in the conclusion but most of the time the conclusion is where will uh, the audience would be impacted or the appeal that you are making to the audience so what i felt was you rushed to the, uh, when it comes to the conclusion you were telling little faster and just you rushed and said thank you so maybe you could have taken pauses the conclusion should be very slow so that that is what is the message that we are going to carry uh, after your speech and even throughout the day or later also so overall the conclusion is good but would have been taken pauses and uh, you would have told little bit slow overall to summarize it's really a great speech and thanks for taking back to our childhood memories you are calm and composed and your smile always attract uh, to what you're saying thanks for uh, bringing it up and having those uh, that smile on your face uh, please improve improve on the couple of suggestions that i gave and for sure you're going to uh, go a long way in your post masters journey i'm sure and wish your future is going to be like your childhood thank you and over to your toast master priya Thank you, Toastmaster Madhavi, for that lovely evaluation. Uh, I, I have a few things that I want to add myself. Actually, not really, but I firstly I entirely agree with whatever Toastmaster Madhavi said. That whatever she has said, most most of it is just what I have written. First, but one other thing is I want to say is that the speech was so engrossing, Fatima, that I was forgetting to evaluate it at multiple sections. and then i had to remind myself that i have a role here today and that i'm supposed to evaluate so that is a great accomplishment another thing i liked was it seemed structured you had points throughout and you were starting with first point and then elaborating on it then how you had a second point and you had a story to back that on and that was good the thing that i feel you could work on is your grammar i could see that the first half of your speech was very composed and it was all well structured with good good grammatical sentences but as you progressed towards the end i could see the sentences breaking into phrases and grammatical mistakes between tenses and plural plural and singular verb, verbs that were happening a lot so maybe that is something that you could work on content wise and engrossing the audience i think you did a bang on job and everybody was listening to you very very well 
And that's all I have to add on to this evaluation. Apart from that, the inherent grammar in, in me could not take this one thing that honored is with H silent. It is not to be said. Honored, our, they are all with H silent. It's not hard or honored. Maybe that is a change. Also, disagreed to my friend will be disagreed with my friend. That with is the right preposition to be used in that state. And yes, that's all I have today with the GE evaluation. I hope this panel evaluation helped whoever spoke here today. That's all we have. Back to you, Postmaster Bhargav. Thank you, Toastmaster Shreya, for that uh, overall evaluation. I personally felt that the session was really awesome and uh, we could have done better on time. I mean, the starting time, uh, but the ending time, I think we are still doing good. Uh, generally, it, it's supposed to be 5, 10, 5, 15, and we have a, a lot of time uh, uh, left out on our hands. Especially, I asked uh, Toastmaster Akshaya to uh, cut short on some of the times so that uh, end the session. I mean, have the schedule until 5, 10, 5, 5, so that we have a buffer of 10 minutes so that even if the session gets delayed, it won't cross uh, 515. So in that respect, yeah, timing, we, we've done well. Uh, now I'd like to, so now we are at the end of the session almost, but don't go away. We have uh, two links you have to vote. Uh, one link is for the uh, best table topic speakers. And the other link is for the uh, best overalls. That is the best speaker and the best evaluator. We already have the link uh, posted for the best table topic session speaker. Uh, I'll just post the link for the best, uh, best. yeah, Hin, Hin just posted the link for uh, the best overall speaker as well. Please go there and uh, cast your votes. Okay, uh, I see seven responses, uh, but I see there are nine people here. If anyone missed, can you please go and vote? Okay, great. I think, uh, I think we have the results. So the best speaker, without any doubt, is Toastmaster Fatima. Congratulations, Toastmaster Fatima. Uh, the best evaluator is uh, the R counter, Toastmaster Sumed. Thanks, Toastmaster Sumed, for taking that extra effort of you know spotting the places where people were going wrong. Bhargav, I Honor. think you read the, I'm sorry, Sumed, but I think Bhargav, you read the results wrong for best evaluator. <laughs> sorry, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sorry, I was confused between the colors. Sorry, change of, <laughs> change of result. <laughs> uh, the best evaluator indeed is uh, Toastmaster Madri. Thank you, Toastmaster Madhuri. <laughs> I think I start, I didn't wait for the last vote and uh, the last vote changed the system or I was strong all this way. I don't know. And uh, uh, the best table topic speaker is Toastmaster Bhargav, that is me. This time I'm not reading the results wrong. Uh, I think it is correct. Yeah, so this brings us to the end of the session. Do you guys have any feedback? If you guys have any feedback, you can just stay back and uh, give the feedback. Um, 
Okay, so I'm going to use this time to ask for volunteers for next week. So we have TMOD and Grammarian, and uh, next week I think Toastmaster Barga would be giving his speech, uh, his icebreaker. So we have a speaker for next week. So if anybody is willing to volunteer to be the TMOD or general evaluator from this lot, would be much appreciated. So I just wanted to ask if anybody is interested. Oh. I was expecting this silence anyway. Sure. <laughs> Thank you. If anybody is interested, please feel free to sign up on the sheet.